Adaptive, we're in the middle of really of launching five different satellite architecture programs. We kind of think of that as our Gen 1. And I'll tell you, there is no substitute for experience. And as part of that process, what we've learned is you really have to work in a different way with close collaboration with the OEM partner, fully engaged in everything from requirements, decomposition, all the way through validation. It's a collaboration with full transparency in terms of how you're developing the software, how you're validating the software, and maturing the system towards launch. There's the physical hardware that's in the vehicle, the sensors, the interconnection, the centralized compute. There's the software that sits on top of that, both in terms of the sensor, the software in the central controller, which is all your middleware, your power mode management, your diagnostics, communications, as well as the environmental model. And that environmental model where you fuse all of that sensor data together to create a really robust view of the world around the vehicle. We can provide those features or the OEM can provide those features. And ultimately, that platform is an open platform on which the OEMs as well as other third-party providers can develop. Now, extending beyond that is the development environment for that platform or the SDK. So the toolkit that you use to develop and integrate software into the platform. There's also the validation and the whole testing regimen that accompanies the application of the platform to a vehicle. We provide the support and can actually execute that as well. And then the final piece of it is the ongoing lifecycle management. As we've talked about, that platform isn't static. It continues to improve and you continue to add to it over the life of that vehicle. The other thing is it is highly complex. You have to have the systems in place to manage that complexity throughout the continued development life cycle. And that extends beyond launch. You really learn what are those pain points associated with the development and how do we make those better for our OEM as well as for all of the partners involved. This has really been the focus for us. We executed that as part of our first generation of platforms. It really is important to us that we build on that experience, that we provide an open development environment with all of the supporting toolkits such that whether it's third party or an OEM or it's Aptiv's content, that can all be seamlessly integrated.